With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, consider the given question. How fast is an electron moving if it has wavelength equal to the distance traveled in one second? So these four options are given, so we have to find which one is correct. So we know that wavelength of moving particle moving particle that is here electron is given by de Broglie equation that is lambda is equal to h upon mv so we have to find the speed of an electron so we have to find the speed of electron moving moving with the moving with the wavelength equal to the distance traveled in one second so it is given that lambda is equal to distance traveled in one second So distance traveled in one second is that is velocity so here lambda is equal to velocity because it is given that if it has a wavelength equal to the distance traveled in one second and we know the distance traveled in one second is the velocity so if we put here v at the place of lambda in the equation first or the de Broglie equation so we will get v is equal to h upon mv so v square so this v when goes to the left hand side so since it is in division it will be in the multiplication so v square is equal to h by m so v is equal to under root h by m as the velocity of the electron will be equal to the under root h by m where h is the Planck constant and m is the if we are considering electron so m is the mass of electron so consider the given option in which option it is given so it is given in the option number third that is under root h by m hence option third is the correct choice thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today